packing today, packing for the 100 mile race on Friday. I got a double check, triple check, quadruple check even, everything that I'm putting in my bag. You don't want to mess around when you're getting ready to run 100 miles. So that's why that's the mission. That's the mission of today's vlog and story. Just getting a little shopping done for the race, and there are the aid stations at Run Rabbit Run look like they're going to be really well stocked with Honey Stinger. I love Honey Stinger, the brand, and they make waffles and gels and uh, these gummies that you can chew. However, between the aid stations and probably even at the aid stations, my stomach this summer has really enjoyed Luna Bars. They're a little different than Lara Bars, definitely different than. Um, Oh, I guess, well, Power Bar, do they even make Power Bars anymore? Anyway, I'm liking the Luna Bars, practicing today with a little, uh, you know, little jog today, eating the Luna Bar, just keeping things rolling. But this is going to be my go-to, my go-to for the race, and pizza, and coffee, and chicken broth, chicken stock, and, and peanut M&Ms, and Gatorade. Forget the vest. Don't forget the vest. Top business schools in the country might sound impossible to get into you. closer one day closer getting exciting it's Tuesday the race starts Friday at noon I printed off all the maps and the crew aid stations right here boom for the crew coming up oh man so grateful for all the support that's gonna be showing up in Steamboat so I've got the information for the crew um, I was going to lay out everything on the floor tonight but I kind of forgot that everything is outside drying right now. So I'm not going to show you everything, all the gear tonight. I'll do that in tomorrow's vlog. Come back tomorrow to see everything laid out. But I feel very good about going shopping, getting some Coke, getting some chicken stock. Anyway, just all the good stuff. You saw me shopping earlier, and I feel very confident in what I purchased. However... The aid stations at Run Rabbit Run appear to be very, very well stocked. They have a list on their website of all the goodies that are going to be at the aid stations, and I just saw some pictures on Facebook, on the Run Rabbit Run Facebook page of the, the volunteers already setting up, like right now, and it's Tuesday, like they're starting to pull everything out of the storage units, and oh my gosh, it's getting, it's getting real. It's getting real. In addition, um, pulled out some clothes tonight, so... Feeling good about my clothing selection. And it's supposed to be, speaking of clothing, it's supposed to be pretty warm this week. Now in the mountains, it can always be different, especially at night. 
So I think a couple years ago, some people really got cold and they had to drop out of the race. Um, so anyway, I feel good about what I have grabbed for my clothing selection for the nighttime running to make sure I don't get too cold. Um, and of course, how could we go to Steamboat without the cowbell? More cowbell, please. That, that, it doesn't work for me. I gotta have more cowbell. And remember yesterday I said I need to double check the gear and triple check the gear. So I feel good like this is a first laying out of everything, just like getting everything in front of me. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna double check and triple check the headlamp situation because I will be running half of the race at night. And right about the 50 mile mark, it's gonna be getting dark. Uh, right about 8 p.m., a little before 8 p.m. really. So here's my headlamp and I need to make sure it's charged up for the actual race, so I will make sure, actually I'll probably start charging tonight, just, just to make sure. Anyway, that is it for today. Come back tomorrow to see all the gear laid out. Sorry I didn't think that through a little more clearly, uh, but half the gear is outside drying right now. Ah, oh. Band-Aids. Seek beauty, work hard, love each other. See you.